It is only the second model of uh, Lufthansa Airbus A350-900 from Hepperwings in scale 1 to 500, but this time in the new livery. And with that, welcome to a new episode of Review, where we will take a closer look at a Lufthansa A350-900. At the front of the box, we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside. And on top of the box, we have the Lufthansa branding. As this is a 2019 release, the only thing of interest we really find on the back side of the box is an image, or in this case, a rendition of the aircraft itself. And here she is, the Airbus A350-900 in the new Lufthansa livery. As I mentioned, this is only the second aircraft model of this type from Hepa Wings in the Lufthansa colors. Of course, by now Lufthansa has their new livery. So we will happily take a look at the aircraft model, starting off with the tail section where we find the no Lufthansa branding on the vertex stabilizer. On the fuselage, we then find the full registration code of the aircraft and the German flag. And if memory serves me right, the first A350 Lufthansa that Happenwings made a model of didn't have the set dome, so this is of course a welcomed additional detail. At the front of the aircraft across the fuselage we have the writing of Lufthansa. Underneath that we actually find these yellow boxes. Now that is the only yellow that is left in the new Lufthansa livery. These boxes have been added to all aircraft in the new livery also in all the previous Lufthansa models from Happy Wings that we have already made reviews of, but this is the first time that it's really super visible. Underneath that we have the aircraft type specification and the name of the aircraft. We also have the Star Alliance logo and underneath the cockpit windows we have the Lufthansa logo once again. Of course the uh, cockpit windows have the very recognizable black coloring around them and we also have the window wipers printed on just above the cockpit windows. We then also find the emergency hatch for the cockpit. The engine cells have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage but the engine cells nonetheless are quite decently detailed. You can see around the nacelle and of course also in the front where we have the engine fan blades. The wings are definitely also worth taking a look at. Here we can see at the top side we have all the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely and we do also have the markings as to where to walk on the wing. The underside is also pretty decent as we can see here. Then of course the wings have some uh, really nice winglets which also have been given the Lufthansa branding. I really like the rounded curve that these winglets have. I think that looks really nice in real life and HEPA has done a, a good job replicating it here. Then underneath the wings we find the main landing gear. I think in general that looks pretty decent. What I don't like however is the distance between the wheel sets. I think that is too wide. The front landing gear also looks really nice, although we could have a few markings here and there printed on. We don't get that as it is not a club model. And then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the second attempt by Hapawings in scale 1 to 500 of an Airbus A350-900 from Lufthansa. And what can we say about the aircraft model? Well, I think it is a solid attempt. We have a new detail with the set dome, that's really nice. The print quality in general is actually really, really good. The details that they have printed on, they are really spot on. Of course, we could always have a few more details here and there. But it is a solid 2019 release by Hepa Wings. It doesn't come with more details than usual, but certainly also not with less. Now with that, we've reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to smash the like button. That really helps us out. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. That way you won't miss out on any future reviews. And with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.